Okay, welcome back to routing. Today we're going to do redirects and routing. This is going to be a short and to the point video. I'm pretty tired. Didn't really feel like making a video today, but here we are. And uh, hopefully, um, if you have this question, this answers it. If you feel uh, like you enjoy these videos, feel free to subscribe. I really would appreciate it. We finally passed 2K subs. Very, very ecstatic. Uh, it might not sound like it in my voice, but I am. It means a lot to me. And like I said, today we're going to do redirects. What's a good example of a redirect in our case? Yeah, I could make a component and have the routing just be, you know, nothing and go to the home page. But that's no fun. I want if they just go to the basic URL, I want them to be rerouted to the home page. So how do I go about doing that? It's a good question. So we're going to uh, go back into Visual Studio, as you would imagine, and let's go back to the app routing module. So here's all our routes, and right above the wildcard, right, we don't want it below the wildcard because I explained in the last video, the wildcard is going to catch any URL. It's going to be the very last in our array because anything meets this path. It doesn't matter what. So let's do right above and say path. In our case, it's just going to be a space. And yes, it's going to continue to compile because I have auto save on. And the next item in this object that we're going to put is redirect to. And here it's going to be a string. So we're going to redirect to slash home. It's going to tack this on our URL instead of this path right here. And then lastly, we have to give it a path match. And there's two options for this. There's full, and then there's prefix. We'll look at each. And for now, I'm just going to put full. So as long as the URL path is this, it will redirect to home. And we need a comma right here. That should compile. Looks like it did. So let's go back to the app. And now if I change the path to just a slash or just like this, right, because it's just nothing, it's going to redirect us. You probably saw it up at the top to the home page. So that's fine and dandy. Let's make another path and let's redirect to home as well. But I'm gonna make the path a little bit different so we can show the prefix path match. So this path is going to be um, just the letter K. And we're saying redirect to the same as before, slash home, so it's gonna redirect to the home page. And then path match, instead of full, we're going to set to prefix. So what this is saying is, as long as the URL, and I need to put a comma here, as long as the URL has a K and then slash, it could be slash whatever, it'll still redirect to the home. Unlike the fool, it has to match this exactly. So now if I go to slash K slash uh, dog, right, it'll still switch it to, it'll still redirect you to slash home because K was the first part of this path. It can be whatever else after that, just the prefix has to match with K. Now, if I change that to full, we'll see the difference here. Let it recompile. Now it's slash K slash dog. And we get the redirect because it didn't match this path right here. It said, uh, yeah, you didn't give us just K, you gave us K slash dog. We don't know what to do with that. So we're going to go to the next one, which is this catch all, and it's going to be the default component. That's why partial can be nice if you don't care what the user puts after K, as long as they put K as the starting point, it's the prefix, they will go to the desired component. Something must have happened here. Let's go back to 4200. What is going on? This is strange. Oh, I hit partial instead of prefix. I'm like, what the heck's going on? There we go. Shouldn't be uh, partial, <laughs> it should be, that's how tired I am. Should be prefix. I was looking at the console to show me that. But there we go, it can be K slash dog slash cat slash mouse. Doesn't matter, as long as the K is the start, it'll redirect you to the home page. Before, that one still works too. We'll just leave it as a blank like this. We'll hit enter, it'll also go to the home page. And then normal rounding works as we had expected. So. That's how you can add redirects to your routing in your Angular application. Hopefully that made sense with the fool and the prefix. Follow along, do what I did, see the difference between the two. Feel free to change these, go from prefix to fool, see how the behavior is different. Um, I think in the next video we'll talk about children paths, uh, the path of the child, 
and <laughs> and um, we'll look into that. It's a little more nebulous, I'd say, than just this. It, it's like a routing and a routing, basically. It's kind of neat. So feel free to uh, subscribe just to watch that and, and stay tuned. And um, yeah, hope to see you in that video.